Hi everyone, it is Drew here at Card of My Eye, and today I have a video for you on how to layer your flowers. This was a really requested video um, when I uh, asked what sort of videos you guys would like to see in the future, and a lot of people said they would like to see how to layer flowers, and that is actually a really great question because layering is a huge element in scrapbooking and just how to get your layouts looking like compositionally correct. Just um, layering is just a really really um main aspect when you're especially when you're using products such as like Prima and all those things all of the more embe uh, detailed embellishments or dimensional embellishments things like that that you layer even flat embellishments when you layer them just to create very eye-catching like placement and such so I'm going to teach you guys a couple tips and tricks on how to layer your uh, Prima flowers um a lot of people were curious on how to layer Prima flowers specifically so how to layer your um sort of scrapbooking flowers or whatever flowers you happen to have I specifically work for Prima so, um, I have Prima flowers myself. And here's a layout I did for Tattered Angels and Prima a while back. But as you can see, um, this layout includes a ton of layered flowers in here. And they're just all layered up in there. And it just flows correctly across the page. And it's just, it just looks nice. But, um, it's sort of... Uh, hard to get this sort of effect. Some people do not know how to do it. So I'm going to teach you guys a couple tips and tricks to maybe make it a little bit easier for you guys. So I have a simple photo here. I always base my layering around a photo. This is like literally the most random ratchet photo in the world. And ratchet's my new word. If you didn't know that, it's like, that means like gross. So I just look ratchet in this photo. Um, but you're going to start off with a photo, and let's just pretend this is on my scrapbooking page. And typically, I like to layer around the corners. That's just me, my preference. But um, I'll t show you an, a de couple different um, options. So I have a couple packs of Prima flowers here. These are just a couple assorted packs of flowers. And I have a couple of more focal piece flowers and some leaves and such. So we could just create a fun little mix and variety of uh, um, of usage or layering, I guess you could say. So what I always like to do is I like to find my focal flower. So I want to have this flower, and you're going to want to find the corner that has the least amount of, I guess, le uh, the least amount of less, uh, I don't even know what to say, the least amount of area where the photo's not going to be covered, if you know what I mean. Like this area has an area where I could actually add a flower, and the main objects in the photo are not going to be covered. That's what I meant to say. So I want to put this flower here, so I want to put this in the corner, essentially. And then a lot of people just start by gluing this flower down. You don't want to do that. You're going to want to layer and add this flower at your top because you want to make it a focal piece. So let's go to these flowers. These are a little bit of a flatter flower. I want this flower to layer. So I'm going to take this flower and just stick it right down under here and put this one on top. So there's a starting point for us, for our layers. And let's say I want to add an additional flower. So I want to take this little Merlot looking lace flower. And I just want to stick that right here to add a little bit more. And then I want to go ahead and grab a couple more flowers. Let's say I wanted to grab... These are not going to be all color coordinated and such, but I just a, a diagram. I want to add this gray flower and then a, uh, one of these really pretty white serenade flowers and I'll link you guys in the down bar below to my shop where I sell all the Prima flowers I have their whole collection in my shop if you want to go pick up some Prima flowers so I want to add a white flower as well and then lastly let's just do a green flower from the tea time collection so here's a little green um, printed flower and we have all these flowers that we want to layer over in this sort of corner over here. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. And I have these three pieces here. And then I want to also fit in a couple more. So I want to stick this here, this here, and... And you sort of want to just work them up the page without covering, like, the main components of your actual scrapbooking page. So I want, might want to just layer this on top of the actual flower. So there you go. That is a great way. I just simply added on top of it a simple um, simple little flower on top of our focal piece flower just to create a layered composition. So now it looks like everything flows and it's like even. And then I want to go in and even add more of a um, layered look by just simply using a couple of leaves. So I have a couple of leaf embellishments here. Zoom out a tad bit. So these are some of my favorite leaves. They have beaded on them and they're felt super gorge. I totally love these leaves. And I'm just going to cut one of them off. 
And I'm gonna uh, simply just take off some of these flowers. This is why it is, I, I never glue. I never start by gluing down my items. And I'm just gonna layer a leaf underneath and then I'm gonna set flowers on top of my leaf. So stick it under. And then I'm going to set a couple of flowers on top of my leaf. And even if it covers up a majority of the leaf, you're still going to be able to tell there's a little bit of leaf there. And by the angle I am, you can't really tell. But if you look at it directly on, you could tell there's a leaf there. And then I want to take another leaf for the opposite side. These are great ways to sort of um, fan out your layering and just bring it to an end. And just make it look like it's finished, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take another piece here and stick it under. And you could just simply add that leaf there. And another trick is if you're layering and you already have something glued down, because sometimes you want to add more layers after you glue everything down, you could take your leaf and actually cut it down the center like this. And you could actually, you'll, you'll be able to poke your leaf in further if you want it to go in a little bit further like that. So that's another trick on how to um, add a... Uh, more a larger embellishment into a smaller space and I also love to cut up my flowers and if you don't know what that means I'll show you for instance I will take a flower and let's say I want to have it just poking out I will actually take my flower and cut it down the center this one's not a very good example because it has like a beaded embellishment but I will cut it down the center so I just have these little petals and I will actually add it as an additional layer underneath just so it looks like we have another flower under there, but we actually do not. But it just gives the appearance as if we do. And when after I have my my layered cluster or like a uh, general idea of what I want to put on this um, little layered section, then I'll go in with other embellishments such as smaller leaves. So I have these little vine piece, this little uh, vine from Prima. Totally love this vine; it's super pretty. And I'm just going to cut a couple of the leaves off. They're a gold shimmery leaf. They're so pretty. And I'm just going to add a couple of those just randomly in here because some of the... I want to add a couple more additional leaves just popping in and out of here. So I'm going to take another one. So we just have two. And these also peel off the wire. They're on wire. If you don't have like a scissors handy, you could just peel it off the wire. Just a little tip for you guys. And I just want to stick this one here. And it's just going to start creating a really pretty cohesive looking... Um, sort of layering section. And um, then I want to go ahead and add a couple more embellishments. So there are a couple bobbles on here. I always like to add random objects in my flower clusters. Like even if it's a flower cluster, I like I just like to add some random sort of objects. So I just want to, I would definitely go ahead and add some random objects such, such as these little bobbles here. So I'm just going to cut off a couple of them, cut them pretty long so you're able to stick them in and, and they'll stay when they're, they're glued in. But you're just going to take a couple of these little trinket-like pieces and just stick them in there. So it just adds to your floral cluster. And it's sort of like a floral arrangement as if you were making it for a uh, like wedding or something. It's just it's sort of the same exact thing, but in, in a definitely a smaller setting or arrangement. And I want to take this little coiled wire. This is a super pretty accent. And you could just add that in a touch right over here. That adds an additional little um, embellishment to add on. And then lastly, I go in with my metal embellishments or trinkets, such as Tim Holtz adornments or Prima trinkets and so on. So I simply have this. I have a little uh, piece, wherever it is. I don't know where I put it. They're from the Junkyard Findings. They're these really pretty zippers. So let's say I wanted to add a zipper in there. So I will actually take my zipper and I like to tuck it under to where it hangs out at the bottom. So I will glue it right about there. And I just like the way that it hangs and it adds just an additional really pretty um, embellishment that keeps your eye going downward. So first you'll, you'll go here and you'll have maybe another embellishment cluster up here but not as deep into the photo because we have a main object on the photo here. And then you can have this just going down and it just adds a really pretty flowing effect that shows it flowing from up, down, to the side, and even down further. So maybe you could have some journaling down here or just another photo or something like that that just keeps your piece going. And I'm actually getting a call right now. Sorry about that. But that is just my little quick uh, layering video I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you learned a little trick or two. It's just basically about cutting up your flowers, altering your flowers. Don't be scared to do that. Just cut them and work with them. It's just a great way. As you can see, I have this large flower cluster here that's cut in half. But you could simply, on another piece, just layer it here. Not on this exact layout, but you could layer it there and you wouldn't even be able to tell. So cutting up your flowers is a great way how to do it, even if they are 
and more intricate flower, not just a flat flower like something like this, but even more of something like this you could even cut in half and add onto a layout. So it's just a little tip for you guys. And don't forget to add small things because they always add such a great character to your um, embellishments. And always remember when you're doing flower cluster clusters to add leaves because leaves are sort of an arrow pointing out and they will finish off your cluster and sort of widen at the base of your uh, cluster and then fan out to a point at the end, which just sort of draws your eye from the point into the wider section, wider section, and out to the point. So it will just create a very nice fluent looking um, layer. So that, I hope that helped a little bit, you guys. Um, don't forget to check out my holiday giveaway if you haven't already. It's ending in a couple days now. I will put the link to the blog post in the down bar below, and I will catch you all next time. Don't forget to stay all scrappy um, the end of this uh, December, now that we're approaching almost 2013. So I just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas, since it is Christmas today. And if you're watching this after, then... I'll wish you Merry Christmas for the next year, super early, I guess. So thanks so much again, guys. I probably said thanks so much again like seven times now, but I will catch you all next time. Bye, everybody.